Hi guys, I'm Jenna from Kids Space Children's Museum. I'm the science specialist here at Kids Space. We're gonna go over a really fun way of making elephant toothpaste at home with ingredients that are easy to get your hands on. This is a great project for kids six and up, but it's always a good idea to have adult supervision, especially because we're using real chemicals like hair development. This is what you're gonna need to make elephant toothpaste. Of course, safety equipment, so gloves and eye protection. You're also gonna need some 40 volume hydrogen peroxide. It's important to note that this is different than the kind that you would say put on a paper cut. This is for hair development or to bleach your hair and it's much higher concentration. You can usually find this at a beauty supply shop. You're gonna need some active dry yeast. You can pick this up at your local supermarket, either in one of these big bags or in a little small packet that has about a tablespoon a piece. You're gonna need some sort of bottle or something to make your elephant toothpaste in. So I have just a soda bottle right here. You need some warm water, some dish soap, and then you're gonna need some tools. So a funnel, a little wee cup to mix things in, a tablespoon, and then I have some uh, food coloring just to make our reaction interesting and pretty colors, but that's optional. So I have this little nice bin here because we're gonna be making a mess and I don't wanna make a mess all over our table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour about a half cup of hydrogen peroxide into my bottle. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're actually going to be decomposing the hydrogen peroxide. That means that we're gonna take our, we're gonna be taking our hydrogen peroxide molecule, which is um, almost like a water molecule, but with an extra oxygen. So water is two hydrogen and uh, one oxygen. This is gonna be two hydrogen and two oxygen. And we're gonna be breaking that extra oxygen off. So I'm gonna pour about a half cup inside my bottle there. And then we want something to catch all those fabulous oxygen bubbles as they come off. So I'm gonna be putting some soap in there to catch our oxygen bubbles. Just like a squirt, like, I don't know, half a teaspoon will do. Just enough to make it soapy. Um, and then we're gonna be using about a tablespoon, even tablespoon of yeast. So there's my yeast in my little wheat cup and maybe about a quarter cup of warm water. So the yeast is our catalyst. It's actually not gonna be making anything inside this reaction. It's just helping break that oxygen. So now I've got my yeast and it's this nice, even brown, taupe, gross color. Um, it's gonna look just like that. And if I want my hydrogen peroxide decomposition to be pretty, I'm gonna add some Lovely purple food coloring there, that's lovely. All right, now here's the moment of truth. So I got my catalyst, I have my hydrogen peroxide, and we're gonna make some toothpaste. Ready? Woo! And this will just be keep going for a while, and if you feel it, you can actually feel the heat and see the steam come off of it, because this is an exothermic reaction. So that means it's releasing energy and we have piles of bubbles that are really warm and goopy and great fun. Um, there still could be a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in this, so it's important that we use our gloves. And then once you're done playing with your bubbles and observing this really cool reaction, you can just pour the rest of whatever's in here down the sink with plenty of cold water. Thank you guys for joining us as we make elephant toothpaste. If you guys would like to really see a big elephant toothpaste reaction, come over to Kids Space during our Mad Science Sundays where we have our Mad Science show and we showcase a giant version of this reaction and many other very cool reactions. And we hope to see you guys soon.